I'm laughing because this is like take five of trying to get this all in one go. But one of the best things I feel like I've come up with is you won't regret hard work. And I'm pretty sure that's like an original quote of mine. <laughs> but I've dropped that so many times because like you'll think about like, oh, I'm bored. Like, what should I do now? It's like you'll never regret doing that hard shit, the stuff you put off or the goals that you want to achieve. You'll never regret putting in the work to get towards there. And today's September 5th, but I've been doing 75 hard for 20, today is day 21. And so the only modification is the diet. Instead of doing a strict diet, I'm trying to gain weight, but I am tracking calories now. So that's like the slight modification is the diet part. But as far as workouts go, I am, I've been going to the gym every single day. I have not missed a gym workout since starting 75 hard so that's 21 days straight because i already went this morning 21 days straight of going to the gym every day and i've been trying to run slash walk every day that's usually my second workout and the running has been picking up as we get deeper and deeper last last weekend i think two weeks ago i ran my first 10 miles ever in my whole life <laughs> uh and it took me about like Shit, uh, honestly, I don't remember. I think I was like at 11, 12 minute pace. But before that, the most I'd ran was a couple times in the summer. I ran six miles and then 7.4 miles. But b besides this summer, like I've never been into running, never did any distance running. The most I'd ever ran was probably a mile. And so like, I feel like when Ken was telling me about the 75 hard challenge, he got a bunch of guys doing, he got this group chat going. When he was telling me about that, in my mind, I was like, you know, I've thought about doing 75 hard before, but I never committed to it. And I decided to commit to it because sometimes it's not about just doing the things you have to do. Sometimes it's about choosing a challenge that's not optimal for, for example, 75 hard. I don't think that's optimal for your gym gains to go to the gym every day, do cardio every day necessarily might not be what you need to be doing to reach your fitness goals. But from a mental aspect, it's pushing you in a different way. It's requiring you to do something you've never done before and not think about the logical like, oh, if I go lift every day back to back to back, I'm not gonna get the most muscle growth. So I've been doing 75 hard for 21 days now and I feel like it's been like pushing me in the same way that posting YouTube videos every day in June uh, was pushing me and the reason I stopped that I don't think I talked about it in any of my recent videos but basically I got to like day 12 and then um, got some news from India and this whole year I was thinking I was gonna go to India in November and we had some stuff happen my parents actually left pretty much immediately to go to India and they were there for like two months when that happened um, that day I just really did not like have anything to record when that happened. Like it was just, there's just a lot going on. And then on top of that, um, that was nearing the end of June. July was arguably one of the busiest months of the year for me because I was just traveling uh, for three weeks straight, I think. So I was in Dallas and then I was in San Diego and then I was in Houston and then I was doing a project here in Sacramento, but we had people fly in instead of me and the team flying out. But July was super busy and then August, I was trying to get situated being home after a month of like being on the go and almost feeling a little bit like burnt out with some of the stuff I was doing and um, not having the structure in place to support all that work I was doing. But, you know, got back August, tried to get back into my routines, tried to get back to going to the gym at 6 a.m. And today was the first day of the week that I got to the gym at 6 a.m. But that's because Sunday I went to the gym at 11 p.m. And then I ran a mile after, I think. So that's that was what 75 hard looked like that day because I had to drive to San Francisco two hours, two and a half hours away from my parents, pick them up from the airport and then drive two hours back to Sacramento. And then by that point we ate dinner and it's 11 p.m. and I'm like, I haven't worked out today. I still gotta get my two workouts in. And I went to the gym at 11, I was there till midnight and then I went and ran. And I wouldn't do that if it weren't for that challenge and for like forcing myself to mentally push through the idea of like, oh, it just make way more sense to sleep right now. But doing that has helped me start breaking through like some of the other things I feel like 
I haven't been able to and finally start looking towards some of the things I set out for myself at the beginning of the year. I have clips from January talking about the goals I had in mind and honestly like some of that stuff like kind of fell through like two months in the year. I was like I'm not going to be able to achieve some of these goals I set out for but finally September is like rolling around and I'm like yo there's one thing I've had on my mind all year and I kind of had to push it to the side after the first couple months and focus on just becoming a better videographer. I couldn't focus on another goal I had that's like kind of related um, to work and career. But now September, I put it back on the table for this month and I'm like trying to track everything that I'm doing. So I'm actually keeping track of all the hours I'm working. I have like a, uh, I use Toggle. It's a website that's kind of like a stopwatch. Clock in, clock out when I'm editing and when I'm shooting and I'm keeping track of that I'm tracking my calories five out of seven days of the week. The other two days, I will either have dinner with my brother or go out with my girlfriend. So those are the two days that I'm not tracking calories because usually those two are pretty hard to track, um, especially if like my girlfriend cooks something that's like, it's just gonna be impossible for me to try and track that. But um, I feel like I'm in one of the best positions I've been in all year and it's because I'm forcing myself to do the hard things that I didn't want to do the things I wasn't doing earlier in the year, the things that people just really don't want to do. And for those of you guys who don't know 75 hard, so it's two workouts a day, 45 minutes each, slight modification. I go to the gym for like an hour to an hour and 10 minutes and then my other workout is shorter, but still doing two workouts and um, reading 10 pages of a nonfiction book. I've been doing 10 pages every day. The first book I read, super easy to read through and I was reading a lot more. I was reading like an hour a day. And the second book I'm reading is way not as interesting. It's a lot more boring, but it is actually information I've been applying for my videography clients for the content I've been posting. So highly recommend reading Shoe Dog. That's the first book I read. And the second book is How to Build a Story Brand. And it's a book about you know, creating a story behind your brand and brand marketing. But I don't know where I was going with that. I think I was just talking about uh, 75 hard. So the workouts, the reading, drink one gallon of water, no alcohol, and follow a strict diet. So been doing really good on that so far. It's been pushing me, but this is my Thursday update because I didn't film a video uh, for my YouTube channel the last seven days. I have a huge project coming up. Hopefully over the course of the next six weeks, I'm waiting to hear back. I'm waiting to get a message from said client later today. But you know, aside from that, we got the Olympia coming up on October 10th slash 11th. So I'm gonna be out in Vegas with the Be Active crew and Jeremy's also gonna be out there for a little bit too. But you know, aside from that, I'm gonna be home for the rest of September and I've got some videos planned for you guys. I was thinking about making a video answering some questions about Turo, talking about some of the things I wish I knew. And then I was also thinking about making a video about Amazon because I didn't get to tell you guys, but I actually was pretty much like temporarily deactivated from sending Amazon FBA shipments for a few weeks. And I just got that taken care of on the last day of August. And I sent out a shipment of $7,000 worth of products, like 160 units, something like that. So hopefully those start selling through because the last few days I've been selling one unit per day. And I'm not gonna focus on Amazon at all for the rest of the month. I've got some stuff selling on eBay, so I am gonna be trying to hit a financial goal this month that I've had on the list for the last year. So that's what's going on in September. Let me know if you guys have any requests for next week's video. I'm probably gonna be filming it this weekend, but other than that, um, things are going well and we are staying busy. So I hope you guys do some hard things because you will not regret it. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Please let me know if you have any video suggestions because I have a lot of things on my mind that I'd like to do, but I would love to know what you guys want to see. Peace.